During this investigation, we're going to determine what effect the velocity has on the momentum of a moving object. Momentum is a quantity that it keeps an object in its state of motion. Basically, it is how difficult it is to change the motion of an object. It depends on the mass and velocity. In this investigation, we're going to test the velocity. Once we know how these factors affect momentum, we can determine the formula and the unit. Here is our setup. We're going to use the force mechanism on this track to push the steel marble at a stationary object. When the marble hits the weight, it will push it backwards. The further the object is pushed, the harder the marble is to stop, and therefore, the more momentum it has. The force mechanism can apply more force on the object by compressing the spring more and more. There are four notches that determine the force, and therefore the velocity. By testing different velocities, we can see if there's any change in the momentum. First, we need to find the mass of the steel marble. It is shown in grams, but we need to convert it to kilograms. Then find the mass of the stationary object, a zinc cylinder. Here the marble is launched from the first notch, which is the lowest force and therefore slowest velocity. The zinc cylinder was pushed from the 0.2 meter mark to the 0.21 meter mark. It was pushed 0.01 meters backwards. In trial 2, it also moved 0.01 meters. In the third trial, it moved 0.02 meters. Observe each of the three trials for the second and then third notches. In each case, the zinc cylinder starts at the 0.2 meter mark. You need to determine how far the cylinder moved and therefore does the velocity affect the momentum.